Hey everybody, Pedro here for Adafruit. Today we're going to be looking at a new flexible material from Fenner Drives. They call it Semiflex. Semiflex from NinjaFlex still has the same flexible properties you've come to know and love. The new material is slightly more rigid than the original formula. Semiflex is quite shiny when compared to what we're used to. And if you remember, we've reviewed PCTPE in an earlier episode, which you can watch here. PCTPE is more rigid, but far less flexible. The plus is that it works with Bowden drive systems. Semiflex, on the other hand, is able to tie the knot and still maintain rigidity, but it still doesn't work on Bowden systems. Trust me, we really tried. It prints with the same temperatures, 220 to 230 degrees. Overhangs are supported far better than the original NinjaFlex. The original NinjaFlex requires something like 30% infill to have enough material for it to stick to. Semiflex can hold up far better with less infill. Here we're only using 10% and it sticks far better. Retraction is more forgiving, so you'll get less goobers. Although cleanup is still required and we recommend using our Haku diagonal cutters to clean up your prints. Better rigidity allows standoffs to work inside of enclosures while still maintaining flexibility. It's literally indestructible when compared to PCTPE. PCTPE tends to deform, delaminate, and split when flexed. Semiflex can make really good snap together parts like in our flexible armband. Parts securely hold together nice and tight. Pins on our floral wristband snap in place and hold very tightly. Other differences are that the original NinjaFlex has more elasticity, but Semiflex has less elongation with more pull strength. Semiflex has far better shock absorption when compared to the original NinjaFlex, which was a perfect excuse for shooting slow-mo footage of our Raspberry Pi B Plus case hitting the asphalt. It's perfect for rugged projects like drones or weather balloon projects. Other practical uses include grips for keeping our couch from sliding all over the place. Semiflex has less friction, but great for cushioning. The original NinjaFlex has more friction and is really good gripping power. Let's take a look at an overview of some of the great uses for Semiflex. Semiflex offers less friction. It has great shock absorption properties. It's useful in large wearables that need rigidity. It has better retraction attributes and snap together parts hold nice and tight. So what practical uses have you found for NinjaFlex? Let us know in the comments below. And so that's NinjaFlex's Semiflex by Fenner Drives. We carry it in the Adafruit shop. Get it today for your next 3D printing project. Are there any questions about Semiflex that we didn't get to? Ask us here and we'll answer it live on our 3D printing show. It's on every Thursday at 3 p.m. ET. But until then, we'll see you guys next week.